critical evaluation of sources obtained online as vital in academic studies. Anyone can create a website with ease and the information provided is not always suitable for academic purposes. There are several important questions to ask when evaluating a website. These questions will help you establish the authority and authorship, currency and reliability of the website. Different people can write for different pages on a website. If a specific person is not mentioned, then look for the website creator as a corporate author. Sometimes you may have to search for the author details at the bottom of the home page or an About Us page. Once you've identified the author, ask these questions. If an author cannot be found, then consider whether the information is reliable and suited for academic purposes. Domain names can help sometimes to establish if the site is a government, commercial or academic site. Keep in mind that educational sites are sometimes used for class assignments in virtual classrooms like Moodle. The date of a web page can often be one of the hardest things to find, but it's also important. If you cannot find the date and the author, then reconsider the use of the web page for your academic work. If you are unable to answer these questions about a web page, please contact the library. We can help to ascertain if the source is suitable for your purpose. Assessing if a website is a reliable source requires thought about the information in the web page and how it fits with other sources providing information on the same topic. Also consider why the website was created and who it's aimed at. Look for a reference list or bibliography or further links. Have they backed up their information with accurate evidence or research? Now let's look at a couple of examples. This website is based on a real example that we came across. The list of contents down the side looks good. If your assignment is about Vygotsky's theory, then this looks relevant. There's no date on the home page, so we have no idea how recently it was updated. At the bottom of the page, it states that it was created as an assignment, so created by a student and certainly not an authority on Vygotsky. A hover over the email me link shows a very unprofessional email address. The colours and shading over the text looks a bit amateurish, not a professional looking website at all. The grammar and spelling is quite incorrect throughout the site and is not improved on any other pages. The only useful page with this website is the references page. By tracing these sources, some suitable material about Vygotsky could be found. This website is certainly not appropriate for academic purposes. Have a look at this website. It's clear that it's written by NASA and has a .gov domain, which is issued to government departments. At the bottom of the page, you can see when the site was last updated, which was very recently. And it also gives a bit more information about who produced the website. At the bottom of the article, there are references with direct links to show that their information is backed up by academic sources. This would be a good site to use. The information is simple to understand, but if more technical information was needed, then the reference list would provide this. If ever in doubt over the suitability of a website, please contact us. We recommend you watch these videos. For further assistance, please contact the library.